All my niggas ride for me. I got niggas that'll die for me. You niggas ain't built like that. Yeah. Despite the yeah. fact that I can't. Okay, now listen, I'm gonna ask you one more time. If I'm at you one more time, but then I'm gonna be forced to ignore you. Still. You came and stopped my brother from teaching. So now we try, I'm trying to give you some understanding. Are you gonna answer the question, yes or no? Can you please read from one? To Are you four gonna four? answer the question? Come on, man. Yes or no? Just read. What it. are you afraid of? Don't you got the Holy Spirit? Right. Don't the Holy Ghost give you the gift of courage? Right. I know you don't. That's right. You know why? Because you've been baptized by John. Right. And ain't no Holy Spirit came from John, but ask Paul. That's Paul right. said, hey, y'all niggas heard got the Holy Spirit? I never they got said, baptized. They said, we have not even heard of such thing. I never even got baptized. And he baptized, said, to so what was you baptized? I haven't he even said, been baptized. unto John's baptism. I haven't been baptized. So, yeah, all right, listen, I agree. We, yeah, we believe it. I agree. Yeah. Are you going to answer the You're question, yes or no? Are you guys afraid of me? Are you going to ask? I'm trying to, I'm trying to talk to you right now. <laughs> Are you going to answer the question, yes or no? For your sake, I will. Okay, no fine. sweat. You're a man of your word, right? Not really. I know that. I proved that. Yeah, but you did try to do those push-ups. Yeah, I didn't finish. Yeah, no, no, I didn't want you to finish. I figured you would have done it. You're not a man of your word because you, you told me 10 and you still said, oh, I'm going to cut it to one. You know why oh, I said you're that? You're not a man of your word. You're you know why I said that? just as much as a woman No, a woman I said because you're my brother. <laughs> oh, you don't no, have to no, do the team. No, 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 that's no, what no, I said. No, no, Trust no, me, no, if you were a white man, you are a man, I would have counted to you'd one, one thousand for every word. 10 minutes you were standing I up. Do the 10. I was willing to do a 10, but you chickened out. No, I didn't want you to do it. I'm not here to embarrass you. I just wanted you to be a man of your word. If you were not here to embarrass me, why would you call me names? Despite the fact that I didn't call you a name. You call me lower than white man. That's not a name. Oh, but that's an insult. That's a status. Oh, right. that's, yes. Exactly. That's a title. Oh, so, oh, so, yeah. So yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You know, like Christ got wonderful counsel. You are a hateful man. The mighty God and Emmanuel. Right. Well, your title was lower than white people for what you said. Right. It's what you said, though. Not because of what you look like. Not because of what you said to me. What you said about the Mexican is why I said that. Right. And because you're a Mexican, I would not allow you to do those push-ups. Right. That's all. Right. So now I'm asking you again. Are you going to answer the question? Yes or no? Read 144, one to 44, please. Just do it, man. 1 to 44? Yeah. You want me to read 44 scriptures? Why not? For what? To prove the point. To prove what point? That point that you're about to prove. You don't even know what I'm about to prove. Yes, please. I only need one scripture. Exactly. Go I only on need one scripture. He's afraid the of question is in 45. Why would afraid I read 45 the scriptures? Truth. The truth is in 1 to 44. I'm you're asking one more time. And if you were really I'm gonna ask you a man one more of time. God, if you're really a man of God, I'm going to ask you know one what? more time. You know Can I read the scripture and ask you a question? I'll read it because I love God. Can I read the scripture and ask you a question? Read 1 and 44. I'm not going to read 44 scriptures for you. You're a coward. No. Yes, you are. No. If you love God, you would read anyway. No. That's where the best part is. What? No. The first one is where the best part is. Yes, no. it is. Oh, That's not what my not. question is. Exactly, because you don't love God. I don't love God either because I sin. But you don't love God because you hate. You hate. And you just look for the Bible to hate upon men. That's are all you finished? do. You want to use the word to hate upon others. Are you bro, finished? I, I wish you could see that. Are you finished? So I can get back to reading. I'm, 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 I'm listening. Are you finished? Let me start, bro. Come on. Are you That's finished yet? You don't even let me start. You've been starting. I'm asking you, are you finished yeah, or I can go? Thank God. I listened to you, didn't I? Yeah. Are you going to listen? Thank God. Thank you. Are you going to listen? Why thank you. No problem. Hey. Listen. That's all. All you got to do is listen. First one to 45. I listened Please, to you. Come on. Didn't I? Just one When you started talking, I shut up. And I listen. Although I don't agree, I think you're crying like a little girl. Right. But I sat there and I listened because you wanted me to hear it. That's right. I so now I'm asking you, me. are you going to listen to me? One, two. Are you going four. to listen to me? If you read 1 to 44 and we read 45, are you going to listen out? And, and, and the nigga back there said, no, why don't you come to the front? Real talk. We said, we can have a conversation with you. Whoever it is, that nigga that was too. Right. Whoever it is, read what you got. I'm gonna ask him this question and see what he's gonna say. You guys don't mind if I invite some friends? The Book of John. Invite right, whoever the hell you want. Right. We out here all night. Oh, bet. The Book of John, chapter one, verse forty-five.
Philip found the Nathaniel and said unto him, We have found him of whom Moses and the law and the prophets did write. Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. Jesus of Nazareth, the what? The son of Joseph. The what? The son of Joseph. So now I told this brother that Christ's father was Joseph. I told him that, that Jesus was the son of Joseph and that I was going to read a scripture that said what? Read it again. The son of Joseph. Jesus Christ what? The son of Joseph. Now the Bible said that Jesus Christ is the son of Joseph. So which one of y'all going to come up here and say the Bible's a lie? Who going to say it? Oh, man, it's quiet. Right. Who gonna say it? What a cricket. Who gonna come up here and say that Jesus Christ is not the son of Joseph according to what we just read? Oh, it's quiet now. Nigga want to talk about John 1 and 44. Right. And 1 through 44. Well, but what about that question? But the problem is... You know what it is? You know what it is? I, you just can't fight the truth. Right. That's what it is. You can't is fight the truth. Right. That's what it is. And this is three. That's the, in, in, in battle rap world, we call that a body bag. Right. Clean 3-0. Right. If we was, listen, listen, let me tell you something. If you were not our brother, we would be chanting 3-0 right now. We would be saying 3-0, 3-0 if you were not our brother right now. Yeah. So I'm this is, so I'm not here. To embarrass you, but I am here to teach you. You're not out here to teach anything. I just taught you to something. Teach hatred. I just taught you because, something. No, you I just taught you that Jesus Christ got a daddy, and his name is Joseph. <laughs> his name is Joseph. You disagree? Uh, father, it's him. Do you disagree? Uh, you're disagreeing with yourself. I'm just asking you because you earlier, with the Bible. earlier you were saying that God the Father was the Father of Jesus, and now you're saying it's Joseph. I'm telling the Bible said Joseph. Now you're saying it's Joseph. I said Joseph is the father yeah. of Jesus Christ. But was it the Holy Spirit who gave who gave birth? You, now you asking me a question. The Holy Spirit is you the one asking me a question. Who you got it, but you can't answer mine. Listen, I answer whatever you want me to. Just answer mine. I will. Okay. So now, is Jesus Christ the son of Joseph? Yes or no? Son of God. So he's not the son of Joseph. The son of God. I well, got you. Jesus is he the son of so Yes or no? I just need yes or no from anybody. Jesus, father, is Jesus Christ the son of Joseph? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. I'm asking you. Jesus Christ, son of Joseph. I'm asking yes or no? Born a miraculous birth. Amen. Amen. Right. So is that a yes or a no? Miraculous birth. I'm just no. asking for a, a. You know why I'm My asking this? Because Christ son. said. Let your yeas be yea, right. your nays be nay. That's so right. I'm going to flat out ask you, no trick question, no trick no yeah, slip yeah, talk. Those are trick questions. Is when you Jesus Christ words, the son of Joseph, yes or no? Words, when you select certain verses, that's all I'm asking. That's being, you don't know? That's you're a, that's being a, very that's precise. You're being a liar. Now, if I show it to you, you're would you be a answer? charlatan and a liar. Read it from the beginning. The book of John, chapter 1, verse 45. Philip findeth Nathaniel. And said unto him, We have found him, of whom Moses and the law and the prophets did write, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. The son of who? The son of Joseph. The son of God. The son of Joseph. The Holy Spirit. The son of Joseph. The Father. The son of Joseph. Now, according to the Bible, is Jesus Christ the son of Joseph? Give my hand. That's right, brother. That's it. Job, brother. That's in the Bible. Good job, big brother. How can we argue with that? That's right. Now, let me ask you another question. If he's the son of Joseph, how could that be if he's the son of God? You look up the question, you see that this man... Now, don't, no, don't try to talk to him, because when I want to have a conversation with you, you didn't want to talk. You didn't want to talk. Now, he answered that question correctly. He answered it honestly, because that's what the Bible says. I'm not saying nothing different, am I? I read it, and then asked it. I didn't break it down, I didn't do nothing. The Bible said it. Right? So now, you believe receiver. he's the son of God, right? Just like I do too. I believe that. But he is also the son of Joseph. Let me give you one more. Do you know he's the son of David? So now he's the son of God, the son of Joseph, and the son of David. Now, if he's God too, 
That means God is a son of Joseph and a son of David. That makes no sense, right? No. It makes no sense. Let me tell you something. Jesus Christ is a great person. The greatest black man to ever walk this earth. And somebody called him good. And he said, call nobody good because there's only one. And that's the Father. Not him. So Christ ain't good. But the Father is, right? You know why? Because that's his father. There's a hierarchy. Jesus and, and, and God is not the same person. Now, to all the other scriptures where it says that, that I and the Father are one, right? That's where the that doctrine comes from. Because they say, well, the Bible say he and the Father are one. That means they're the same person, right? I can, now, here's the problem with that. When a man marries a woman, the two are no longer twain, right? What they become? So does the man become the woman? They're just on what? What does that one mean? They're together in the spirit. They agree. Right. They're on one accord. Right. Same with Christ and his father. Good night. Right, right. Know what I'm saying? Let me tell you something. Christ didn't want to die. Christ prayed to the father that can you take this cup from me? Because he knew it was going to be gruesome. And the father did not answer him. So that he knew it was his will to die, to do what his father wants him to do. Don't take that away from him by claiming he is the father. Good night. Don't do that. That's right. Because when you do that, you take you take the obedience hey, away right. from Christ. That's right. The reason why Christ is the son of God, because he's the only nigga that ever listened to the Lord. Right. He's the only nigga that ever did it to the T. Right. He came to teach niggas like you and me to do the same. He never said, I'm the Christ and none of y'all niggas would be great. He didn't say that. He said y'all can do greater things than I. That's what he said. That's what Christ said. Right. Christ right. said niggas can do greater things than him. And you're gonna tell me that he's a that he's God? That the father's telling me some lowly nigga that I can do greater things than him? You take away the power of Christ by saying that. That's right. You take it away from him. Christ was a black man who had a black father who the world gives no credit to. That's right. Just like today. Today, a black father ain't shit. He's saying Joseph ain't shit. Because he's saying Mary got pregnant all by herself. Mary is the mother and the father. We got women today huh? doing Father's Day talking, saying what? I'm the mother and the father. Well, Christ had a father, a black man named Joseph. Now, is Joseph the Christ? Absolutely not. Was Joseph some righteous ethic? No, I'm not saying that. But do not take his father away from him because you don't like your father. Damn. That's the problem. I ain't saying you, but I'm saying I'm talking about in general because we're raised to believe to not believe in a black father. That means no black father could be anything. But guess what? Christ had a black father. Right. Christ had a black mother. Christ was born in the ghetto, right? Right. Christ was homeless, right? Was Christ innocent? Yes. Was he innocent? Yes. He was innocent, right? Yes. How many other innocent niggas are there, bro? Right. How many, how many you innocent niggas are killed from yourselves? Bro? You guys are oh, racist yourselves. Yourself. You guys, yeah. Christ is just yourself. like who? You guys are racist to yourself. Like us? You guys want to make everything. Hebrews 2 and 16. Right? I can read it for you. Read yes, Hebrews 2 and 16 are. real quick. Amen. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you the problem with saying you guys that Jesus is God. Don't believe that you're involved for these men who are slaves of their own sin. Really? You can't see yeah, it. You can't see it. Slaves of your own sin. That's what you are. Slave of your own sin. You need some water? Forever. You need water? Forever you have you to get some water. water. Hey, get that brother. Let's get that brother water. water. No, and you guys don't see it, bro. So am I. But you guys don't understand. Am I too? I'm also sick. All of us are. Are. You guys got just you. Next thing, uh, well, actually, I'm, I'm done with him. He just hit the cut. I'm got teaching now. You got it. Read what you got. 2 and 16. Read what you got. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 2, verse 16. For verily. I want to say, okay, now, I, 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 I'm trying to teach something real quick. You can learn this. I want, we can talk about Jesus Christ right now. You want to hear about Jesus? 
You say you love Jesus, let's read about it. Read it. For verily he took not on him the nature of angels. Who is this talking about? I'm asking you. Who is this talking about? Read it again. For vex, like this is the book of Hebrews, chapter 2, verse 16. All right. For verily he took not on him the nature of angels. Who is he talking about? Time. Hebrews what? 2 and 16. Hebrews. I'm going to wait till you get there. Yeah, thank you. Let me know when you're there. Take your time, baby. I know you ain't always in the scriptures. I'm not. That's fine. No, I'm really bad at typing. Yeah, that's it. Well, we're going to read it while you're getting there, all right? Read what you got. For verily, he took not on him the you nature of James angels, Christian, right? yeah, King James. King but he James. took on him you guys the seed that of Abraham. Man, right? Hold on now, wait, well, I know I didn't just have this patience so for you, kind of for you to just say this now. Bible, I'm asking you, a white man. who's a white man? King James. King James was a white man. No, he was not. Yes, he that's was. a whole other battle. I ain't even, I ain't even, I don't even want it. We got the book over there somewhere. I know, we can have that. That's not even important. What? Because he wasn't righteous, so it don't even matter. Are you ready? Are you? Sir, ah, you ready? What verse? Hebrews 2 and 16. 2 and 16. Are you there yet? I'm asking you, are you there? I can read it. I'm waiting on you to get there. You know. I'm reading it. Okay, read it. For verily he took not on him uh -huh. the nature of angels, uh -huh. but he took on him the seed of Abraham. Uh -huh. Verse 17. Wherefore in all things it behooved him to be made like unto his brethren. Made like who? Like unto his brethren. So now this can happen. This scripture is talking about Christ. And it says he didn't take on the nature of angels. He took on the seed of Abraham. Wherefore by in all things he was made like his brothers. Like you. How was you made? Was you born immaculate? No. You had a father. And a mother. Right. You was in your mother's womb for nine months. She had you with birth pains. She birthed you out. Guess who else came like that? Jesus Christ. And it's important that he came that way. He read. That he may, might like that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest. That he might be a what? A merciful. What does that mean? Why why is it important that he be born like you? So he can have mercy. Have you ever, okay, no, don't want to say that because I don't want to assume your life. Have you ever, have you ever had a conversation with a younger brother? And a younger brother was like, you try to tell him right. Like, look, bro, don't do that. Because you do this right here, you're going to go down. And he said, well, it's easy for you to say that. You grown. What you going to tell him? No, I went through the same thing you went through. The same things you went through in the streets, I did. The same temptation you had, I did. The same drugs you tried to fight, I fought them. So I can tell you how to fight them. Same way with Christ. The same things you're going through, he went through. You're going to skip all this? You're going to skip all this, bro? Do not skip all this, man. When you read the Bible, make sure that you read all the verses. The Bible says God can't be tempted. Well, we know Satan tempted Christ. So how can he tempt Christ if Christ is God? That's another thing I was going to cut on. We have to let him make it. Here's the point. Christ is born just like he was born. Christ went to jail just like we go to jail. Christ was blamed for something he didn't do just like we blamed for something we ain't do. He died for something he didn't do like so many of his brothers died for things they don't do. Now, because he went through it, he can have mercy for you. Let me tell you something. God kills sinners. That's what he does. He says, don't eat pork. You eat pork, he kills you. He says, don't commit adultery. You commit adultery, he kills you. You know what Christ does? Christ says, hold on, Father. Hold I can't on. eat pork, bro. Give him a chance. He ain't know any better. Now he's following me. Now because I died for him, now he's going to walk like I walk. And now the Lord has mercy on you because of his son. Because his son is telling him what life in the ghetto is like. His son is telling him how police brutality is like. His son is telling him what oppression is like for a man on earth, for a black man on earth. That's why he's able to be a merciful priest. Because the same things we go through, he went through it and overcame it, though. That's the thing. He 
didn't fail. I failed. I was one of them kids. I was born in the third ward. I went to Douglas Elementary. And I remember that thing called the D.A.R.E. program to keep kids off drugs. That's right. Damn it, I fell there. Real talk. I fell, I let them down out there. Real talk. I let them down as soon as I got out of high school. I, now, some of y'all niggas, some of y'all was getting high, telling D.A.R.E., yeah, keep them off drugs. But me, I tried. I really tried. I just started getting high until after college. But I let D.A.R.E. down. I let them down. I, well, Christ who had the same temptations. But he beat it. That's right. That's why he's better than me. And if I follow what he say to do, I'll be better than what I used to be. And that's what Christ wants. Because it's nothing, it's nothing for him to kill you for your sin. But if you die, you can never change. Right? Christ wants you to change your life. Christ took niggas from drugs. See, and that's another thing the Christian church trying to tell you, you got to have a damn job. If having a job was so important, why did Christ take them niggas from that job? They know it was fishermen. One was a tax collector. Paul had a job. Christ took them from their slavery and made them fishers of men. That's what Jesus Christ did. And because of him, that's what we do, according to the Bible. It is offensive when it man over there. I can't love the white man. Why? Because I love black and Spanish too goddamn much for that. Too much. And, my, and, and that's how the Lord loves us. All white people, every white person in the world should apologize personally. We gotta be brothers again, man. We gotta start having mercy and compassion upon each other. Because the world is getting ready to go in the world war too. This is our inheritance. This is what this is what we're supposed to do. That's right. Hang your shell up. 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 If you got problem with black people or whatever, you better shut your mouth. Because they're God's people. You better hear what I'm saying to you. Better shut your mouth. You better shut your white mouth.